bag of trash here with a short little v-log that will shortly turn into a rant. Uh, went to the store today and Kid and Mike, earlier you asked me would I be getting the leader brawl and I said yes when I saw him. I saw him. Also while I was there I picked up one of the uh, Target exclusive basics. This is the strong arm basic and I really like the colors on this one. This will be the third strong arm I own. The other one is the original color from Energon, the yellow. I actually own two of them. I was going to repaint them green and call them Hound. Now I ain't got to. And then this is the G1 colored Autobot Jazz. I got him mostly because I just like the car mode. So I'm just going to leave them in package. While I was there they had, I know, at least another ten of them. So that's going to bring me into my rant. If I would do like most of the people talk about that find these exclusives, I would have bought every single one of them I found. They had a discussion on Cybertron forms or Sabertron or whatever about whether these people that buy them all and resell them on eBay some people are trying to say that all they're doing is helping people who can't find them get them and what me and a bunch of other guys are saying is that well if you didn't go out and buy every single one of them you find then maybe there'd be some more for everybody else to find so you know there's a kind of a thought there it's kind of deep but you know Maybe I'm just a deep person. Uh, then the owner of Cybertron's, the Cybertron boards, uh, I'm guessing it's the owner. His actual name is Sabertron, spelled just like the website, and it says forum moderator or web, you know, whatever it is. I, I forget the exact title now, but it, it was kind of an up there title. And he got in there and said, well, you know, he's not that hard to find. Last time me and my friend were at Target, we each bought a case of the jazzes. And in the back of my mind, you know, I, I didn't keep on reading at that point, and in the back of my mind I was thinking, well, what are you going to do with 20 jazzes? That's just a guess. I'm guessing there are 10 of each in these packs. So anyway, even if they keep each a one of them, him and his friend, that means they have 18 extra jazzes that they will, and I keep on reading on at this point, he is just trying to sell them for a little bit of extra money to finance the rest of his collection. So, he never did set on a, a firm price on what it is he's selling them for, but I'm just going to pull a number out of my head, say $20. That means that his $200 investment, him and his friends, to buy these 20 deluxes is going to turn into, let's see, a hundred and eighty dollar profit. So, not only did the two that they got for free, no, wait, no, no, after they paid for the one that they didn't sell, that is a hundred and seventy dollars profit. So, how is that not scalping? To me, if you're just doing it out of the goodness of your heart to try and help other Transformer fans, I mean, I know it's stupid to do, that's why I didn't do, but take and buy them and say, okay, I'm going to sell this for you, to you for $10 plus whatever shipping costs to get it to you. That would be, you know, going out of your way to help the fans. Take it and saying, well, I'm going to double my money plus charge you shipping on top of that. That's not being a helpful hand. That's lining your pockets. That's like... Uh, well, you know, all that stuff you couldn't find, well, I'm the reason you couldn't find it, and now I'm going to sell it to you for double the price. That's how I take it. I mean, if I would have bought the extra jazzes, I wouldn't have sold them. I'd have traded them. You know what I'd have traded them for? I want a strong arm, the, uh, the tow truck, I want that. I want RC, and I want the 2008 Bumblebee. You know what? As expensive as that thing is, I might just settle out and wait for the... the uh, I think Cliff Jumper is going to be a repaint of it. 
So I'm all for a red Camaro. I can live with that. It's a lot better than paying sixty dollars for a oh eight Bumblebee on eBay, you know, put fifty dollars in some guy's pocket just because he was able to go and find a bunch of them on the shelves and buy them all. So uh maybe I'm just, you know, going you know, overboard on this. But to me, that just seems dirty. I mean, to go out, you know, I'm going to say it again. Go and buy something out of stock so that nobody else can get one, or maybe not so nobody else can get one, so nobody else who wants to buy it for $10 can get it and buy it from you for at least double. Yeah, you're helping us out a lot. Thank you so much. So, uh, anyway, thank you very much. I'm sorry to have uh, kind of got my blood up on that. But anyway, y'all have a good day, and I love all my subscribers. Y'all are great. I love you like brothers. Don't confuse that.